I'm going to do a short demo of the John Ellis Living Water Machine. There are a few things you need to know when you're operating the John Ellis Living Water Machine. For instance, where the input water is supposed to be added and how high to fill up the machine with water, and this type of thing. Look at the chart to see those things. It's also, I think, pretty important to set it up to feed automatically. Otherwise, you're going to be babysitting this machine while it's operating and it's going to be a hassle. If you want filtered water like I do, you might want to hook up a quick connect and hook it to your water filter supply so that you are supplying this machine with filtered water rather than tap water. Another Another important thing to set up is your flow rate for input water. That should be at the rate of about one quarter cup every 20 seconds. You will probably also need to adjust the overflow water rate. Uh, and that is adjusted using a pliers on this little nut where the overflow water comes out. Try to set it up so that it's a, at least equal amount of overflow water to however much distilled water you're producing. If the machine seems to be running hot, uh, let more overflow water come out than whatever you have it set on. Also, notice the little wire rack that I have the machine setting on. I did this after running the machine a couple of times and I noticed that it was running too hot to just sit right on my kitchen counter. So I have it sitting on a wire rack just to protect my counter. Now here's just what the inside filled machine looks like right before you're going to plug it in. By the way, do not plug it in until you have it looking like this. Uh, the machine can get hot very, very quickly and there's no on off switch. You just plug it in and it starts getting hot. So make sure it's filled with water and you have the flow all set up and going before you plug it in. Another thing that has to be set up is the fan, which is also the lid of the machine. This is necessary because it helps to keep the water more cool, which is part of the whole process. This fan has its own separate plug. And just make sure that when you set the lid onto the machine that you put the shaft into the spot that's shown on the diagram I showed you earlier. After a few times of use, you will get used to what to do with this machine. Just make sure that you are very, very cautious. It gets very hot. You don't want to ever leave it where you're not in the same room and it's operating because because of how hot it gets it does not produce particularly any antioxidants you should know that it, it don't expect to see any hydrogen or antioxidants or oxidation reduction potential it gets zero of that it does change the pH of the water so that this distilled water comes out acidic and the runoff water will be about whatever similar to whatever your tap water is. For more information about the John Ellis Living Water Machine, I invite you to go to my website and read all about it. I've got quite a lot of information posted.